Hello everyone this is Ultimate Public Entertainment. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another interesting episode of Karen Shenanigans. Take a look. I have recently posted a couple of series of having a Karen as your next door neighbor. But seriously, let's say you have a Karen as your next door neighbor. What would you do? Or how would you handle it? In this first clip, you are going to be watching another series of having a Karen as your next door neighbor. Take a look at this shenanigans. Like I said, if you touch my again, I'm calling the cops. I don't care. If you touch my again, I'm calling the cops too. How about that? It's going to be a fair, fair and square deal. Good ever, dude. Don't bring it over here if you are going to use it. I can bring my wherever I want, oh, lady. Man. Why can't I? Don't I don't want to look at it. You don't own the ground. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at you. Wait a minute. This woman reminds me of Stewart's mom on Mad TV. You shouldn't have moved here then. I don't want to look at you. I don't want you as a damn neighbor. Please get your stuff off my ground. <laughs> that post is actually the line, so. Like I said, if I had decent neighbors and keep their chickens off. That's still on my side. That's that still on my work. side. But I don't. That's still on my side. Hell. Am I the only one that is thinking that the guy recording is the Kevin here because it seems like the woman is trying to put up a makeshift fence to keep off his chickens off her property. That's still on my side, Janet. Where? That post is on my property line. This is not your property. That, this side of the post yeah, is my I land. Know, yeah, so where is that board at? In space, ma'am. It's right there. There you go. Your other pallet is still on my line, on my side. You're going to have to figure it out. It's a puzzle, I know, but you're going to have to figure it out. Seriously, dude? He said, it's a puzzle, I know. You're going to have to figure it out. It's a puzzle. Wow. Don't you just love the sound of the rooster and the dog barking in the background? I'm pretty sure that pallet's still on my side. Do not touch my again. If it's on my side, I'm going to touch it, Janet. Touch I'll touch again. it. It's on my land. I might burn it. Oh, surprise, surprise, surprise. The crazy does everything he wants. The crazy? A few moments later. Get out of here! You better quit doing that, dude. Really. Oh, you get your damn phone away from me. My phone's not. My phone's on my get own property. Get your off of my property. Phone away from you me. You better get out of here, lady. Sick of your trespassing, ma'am. I am sick of You're trespassing, ma'am. Please stop. Like I said, I'm sick of your. I don't care that you're sick of me. Just stay off my property and we're fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. okay, I am. Great. I'm still on my own property. Me personally, I do not have the patience for this. If I wear the guy recording, I would make sure I do whatever I can to put up a fence. Like I said, if you touch my again i'm calling the cops i don't care if you touch my i'm calling the cops too how about that it's gonna be a fair fair and square deal one eternity later you're on my property so get out of here you're on my property lady get out of here touch my stuff again 
cops. That's fine. You can call the cops, but we're going to figure out that you're putting your stuff on my property. If you leave it there, that's fine. Just don't, don't put it. Bring it over. I'll here, do then. what I want on my own ground. I can do whatever I want. Here. I can do whatever I want. It's free. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. After watching the whole clip, in your opinion, let me know in the comments who do you think is the Karen? This is unbelievable. Up next, you are going to be watching this Karen arguing with a Kevin about him not graduating from St. Mary's. Take a look at this. Claire on going on the face. internet. I did oh, not phone you. I phoned Nobody you. had a gun you pointed a at gun. me. Yes. No, they did He said a gun. He what? said a gun. It wasn't and about you. Get out of my face. face. It was out. This is to your over there. there. I was the one over there. I got in an argument You're with Brian Carey. St. Mary's. What? You are not from St. Mary's. You never graduated yes, I did. from St. Mary's. Yes, I did. Danny, do I have a degree from St. Mary? He said I don't have a degree from St. Mary's. You want to come over home and look at it? Yes, I would. What? You really want to go to his house to verify if he graduated from St. Mary's? Be for real, Karen. I would love for you to bring it here. Fifty bucks. No. Lose some weight, you pig. You too. Did I? <laughs> what are you talking? I'm 160 pounds and a collar. Did I graduate from St. Mary's? Yeah. And... I'm never coming back here. Good, you fat. Get off. All right, you got that. He has abused me. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? He has abused me! I called you a fat <laughs> You are a fat <laughs> Then tell them to get the- I'm getting the police! I, I have it all on video, don't I need? <laughs> LOL. You didn't graduate from St. Mary's. He said, I'm St. Mary's. This is so comical. I think they both deserve each other. Now this is crazy. For real, this Karen customer with a nasty attitude, you won't believe this, told an employee at a drive through window who was providing service to her to drop his attitude, even though she is the one with the attitude. Take a listen. Take inside, I will let the rice and drop the attitude. See? You still want the large size, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. You would have got it right. Yeah. Read my order back, please. All right. So you have a three beef stock with a large fry and a dirty rice. And you, you also, I don't know. That's a, yeah, three piece leg. So, and you have a medium mass of dew, a five piece of cream combo. Uh, with a medium fry and a large Mountain Dew with a honey mustard and you also have a three wing dinner with a mac and cheese and dirty fry. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, anything else we can get for you today? Yeah, no attitude from you. That's it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Who's the attitude? That is rude, ma'am. Well, who's the attitude? You got a lot of attitude. You need to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> this Karen has issues for real and I'm sure those employees were laughing at her the whole time Do you have a receipt, please? I'll give it to you. Hi. With the back. Which, what's that? I'll give you a receipt when I take your food out. Oh, okay. Back. Thank you. 
I'm gonna check my food early. But, and, uh, before we eat it, Go this show hope the only food in here. And yes, this is how you feel. And tell Mr. Payne, you got to go viral. But say to mama, uh, you're, you're the uh, guy who is here, he just left. I don't know, he's just a medical guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's got to go viral. So, he's very rude. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 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 I would never understand why some people do that. But that on the side, when the customer was told to move away from the window, am I the only one that thought that, uh-oh, they were probably going to add something extra or extra seasoning to the customer's order? Let me know in the comment section. So this man approaches a young African-American guy who was simply taking a walk in the neighborhood, minding his own business now. Guess what he did? He walks up to him and then he asked him, do you live in my neighborhood? Take a listen to this shenanigans. This white man walking up the street antagonizing me for what? Why? Do you live in this neighborhood? Why? What's the matter to you? Because you're going through our neighborhood. That don't matter. This ain't your neighborhood. You ain't, you ain't well, bought every street. You haven't bought on these streets, sir. You own that house right there. You own that raggedy piece of house right there. You don't you don't own nothing over here, man. This ain't your street. What the hell is you, you, you what the hell is you talking about? You don't own nothing over here but that regular house, man. You can't tell me, man. What what's what wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You telling me you come you coming and asking me, do I live in the neighborhood? It ain't none of your business. If you gotta call the police about something, go call them. I can call them because I'm Bye. go call the police then, sir. Why is you right here with me? Go call them. I, I haven't told you not to call them. Bye. I don't care about your identification, man. Go call the police is what I'm telling you. If you think I'm doing a crime, go call the police. Oh, Why you? Not doing a crime. Why, okay, then. What the hell are you yeah. doing? What the hell are you doing? Trying to ask me. Why are I walking through your neighborhood? I'm saying, hey, watch your step. Man, I ain't, you watch your mother mouth. Watch your step. I ain't going to watch. Watch your step. I ain't going to watch. Watch your step. I ain't going to watch. Watch your step. I ain't going to watch, man. Man, get your old. You, your man, you ain't going to watch it, man. Look at this old man. Look, all the old man want to fight a young man like me. Look at him. I will beat the f out of this old ass white man, man. I will beat the f out of you, man. I will, I will beat your mother. <laughs> man, get your old. Man, wanna? But you ain't gonna f me. I tell you what. I don't. I don't give sixty folks. I don't give sixty folks. I don't give sixty folks. He said what? I don't give sixty folks. Wow. You get close enough to me to get in my personal space, I'm going to knock your old out. I'm going to knock your old out. You, if you get in my personal space, I'm going to knock your old out. I don't get no f***. You, know you, you ain't got no business even with me. I'm walking down the street. You ain't got no business with me. What's wrong with you, man? You don't know nothing about me, man. I can't f***ing goddamn man, man. What's wrong with you, man? Get your mother on somewhere. What's with you, man? This is what I'm thinking, though. But I might be wrong. I think that the old guy was trying to make that young guy step off so that he would call the cops. Nevertheless though, I think it's really sad that in this day and age, we still have people that think like this. In this upcoming clip, a group of college students ran and caught through an entire line at Epcot in Florida. When confronted now, you will not believe their reactions. Take a look at this madness. They cut on the wall. They cut on the wall. Were you guys walking stuff? We're all going to the same place. You'll give a You're a nerd, dude. I'm not arguing a It's like Harry Potter. Is that, an, is that supposed to be an insult? I don't give a shouldn't have said Mind your business. You shouldn't have cut everyone. Mind your business. Our group, when you get up, they cut on the wall. They cut. Till then. You're a nerd, bro. I'll never let nobody disrespect my girl. I don't disrespect you. You're a I thought you were I play football at the University of Central Florida. Show them. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. We don't care. By the way, this moron 
does not play for UCF. Oh my goodness, this guy just put his hands on her. Now that is wild. Come on, Come on make it a two for two. Recording me because he wants to be famous, so I'm gonna give him his 10 seconds of fame on my Snapchat. You know what's your app? What's your app? What's your app? What's your app? They'll add you. What's your app? I got clout. So what's your I don't know what that means. I'm cute. What's your app? What's your Snapchat? What's a Snapchat? Oh, okay. Weird. What are you recording me for? You watch me on Saturdays. You and your family tailgate outside of my stadium. Oh, entitled? I'm not entitled at all. Hey, hey, ma'am, I took off my shirt because I'm hot. I don't disrespect you. Like I said earlier. I'll talk to men. I'm not going to talk to females. Wait a minute. I know this little boy didn't just say that he doesn't disrespect females. He talks to men, but he doesn't talk to females. But didn't we just see him a few minutes ago put it in his hands on his girl? Unbelievable. What an embarrassment. Now, this is outrageous. First of all, acting hard at Disney is wild enough. Secondly, behaving badly because you were called out for cutting in line is another level of rudeness. Unbelievable. What an embarrassment. After watching the cringiness in the previous clip, I decided to show you guys this clip that I came across on social media about a wife pranking her husband. I tell you, you will not regret watching this. Make sure to watch till the end. Take a look. Yeah. Who's this? Howie, my name is John. Listen, you and I need to talk. Do you have a minute? Yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your wife's. I do a lot of work at the office that she works at. I got to be honest with you. I, I don't know how much longer I can put up with this whole sham. I don't like lying, and I, I, don't, I don't like sharing my women. So uh, for the past four or five months, Lisa and I have been together. What? Yeah. I can't take looking at your name on her butt anymore. So that's got to go. And, I got you know, she and I are. Uh, let, me, let me tell you something, pal. I've been married to my wife for a real long time, okay? Yeah. Number two, I want to meet you with you in person. Oh, please. Don't don't pull the tough guy act with okay. me. Okay. No, no, no. Don't, wait, wait, hold on a second. You know, you don't like balls calling me up number one. I'm going to tell me something like that with my wife. You want to talk about the dragon on her breast, buddy? Do you understand what I'm trying to give a if you see this or you see that? Let me just tell you something. Yeah, go ahead, Howie. Shut the up and listen to what I'm telling you. I will come over there and you up. You understand what I'm telling you? I don't 
tell Mace about sharing women with you, okay? If anything, you're getting involved with my wife, number one, because she's married, okay? And number two, just that get of it, I should bust your face open. Let me tell you something. No, listen to me. You're mad that I'm... By who? By by some guy named Howie? By me. By me. I don't do it personally. Dude, you're not man enough to keep your wife. Why should I be scared of you? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to be man enough to keep that you. So you're telling me I... I'm telling you, you with my old lady, you with me, and I'm going to tell you something. You will be uh, Can I have sex with her today just one last time? i tell you what. I'll be the guy underneath your wife. You're going to be a with a garbage can. That's who the you're going to be. I'm going to be the guy with my name on her left cheek. You talk a lot of over the phone. We'll talk in person. Where do you want to meet Howie? Where do I want to meet? Meet at my wife's office. Howie. I'll be there in two hours. Howie. Don't get smart with me, little Because I'll stop your teeth right down your throat. Oh, please. When I'm done with your wife, then I'll maybe meet you. You ain't done that? with buddy. Let me tell you something. I think you both. Okay, I yeah, okay. Okay. I know my wife. I know my wife a long time, pal. Yeah. Okay. And my okay. wife don't do like that. I think you're a lying, and I really don't give a what you say. I've been to your house, bro. You don't think I've been to your house? You've been in my house? Yeah. Go ask your wife. I can't wait to meet you, buddy. If you were this aggressive in bed, you wouldn't be having a problem. You are. You're a walking. Remember yeah, okay. that. Okay. All right. I'm telling All right, you yeah. right now, buddy. Okay. You're a I'll tell you what, hmm. I'm going to go tell her right now to call you, and you can talk to her. Good, you do that. You do that. All right, goodbye. All right, <laughs> you're up. <laughs> okay, I was supposed to call him, he's going to flip. All right, let's call him back. You talk to him, and I'll just listen, and I'll come in when I have to. Hello. Howie? What the is going on? What the hell? What are you talking about? Lisa, you want to know something? This guy just called me. Okay, tell me you're having an affair with him. That he's meeting you after lunch. He just called me and told me to call you. I have no idea why. You on me, I swear to Christ. Howie. He's he's First of all, it's a mistake, so stop. It's a mistake. mistake. You tell him. I gonna tell him. Can you calm down, please? No, where the are you right now? Because you're not at your job. Are you with him? Just wait. You're with him right now? No. Don't wait a minute, Lisa. Howie? You're you are. You hear me? I'm. You're on the radio. <laughs> Howie. <laughs> hey, Howie. How you doing? <laughs> God. Yeah, I tell you what, man. You almost gave me a heart attack. It's David Brody from Elvis Strand in the Morning Show. You've been phone tapped. Are uh, Are you okay? I tell you what, man. I never imagined anything like that. You still love your <laughs> wife? Yeah, of course. You son of a. <laughs> if you were Howie's wife. Would you play such a joke on your husband? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Finally, on this episode of Ultimate Public Entertainment and Karen Shenanigans, this Karen went on a rampage at a fast food restaurant. I mean, she went on a rampage right in front of a child. This is embarrassing. Take a look at this. You came in here. You didn't even tell me to put in anything. Not to rectify the situation. Not to rectify the situation. Not to rectify Somebody give me the number. Who your general manager? Like I said, every time I come in here, you yelling at somebody. I come here every day for my lunch break. Eat me. You can say that.
All I wanted to do was just order some food. Look what I got to go through. If you watch this video to the end, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. That is embarrassing. Karen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe y'all.